Alright guys, so we are going to go hiking right now. And I got my checks on. Can I have cookies? Are you ready? Mommy. Are you ready for this long walk? Yeah. It's a beautiful day in Utah, Nay. Beautiful today. Wow. It's still in the bag, so it's still good. You don't care? Oh. Okay. 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 You're so mean. <laughs> what a mean brother. Sit down. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? That's where the team was yesterday. Up at the Y. I'm so proud of you, son. Um, we took it Dried that way. Dried doo doo. Stop. Don't forget to me. We made it to the river. Just around the river bend. I look once more. It's around the river bend. Waiting just around the river bend. Where's your doo doo? On your face. <laughs> right there. Stop it. Yeah, it's pretty. Right there, the doo doo. Mm -hmm. Under your eye. <laughs> Hello, Tail. Hello, Daddy. Isn't it a beautiful day, isn't it? Isn't it a beautiful day? Got a river flowing. It's lovely. Can we go home now? My legs are killing me. No. We must finish this. Okay. For Harry Potter. Okay. What? Wait, what? For Harry Potter? He's got two beautiful spots one right there. I'm eating sunflower seeds. Sorry. You're in my way. Follow whatever Justin's doing. <laughs> I'm recording him. I'm out of breath. Let's not do that anymore. Let's go, girl. Okay, my turn. Okay, thank you everyone for being here for family evening. Before we, before
before I get started, I wanted to ask if um, who in here knows how to do push-ups? Me! Mm. Oh. Let's see if you do them properly, no. Go girl, one, huh? oh, five, four more. Go Mary! Put your head up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put your head up there. Okay. <laughs> that was three. Don't blame it on anyone else. Upward dog. Good, good job. Good upward job. dog. Go 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 you guys said your upward dog. Go, Justin. Whoa, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good job, guys. One hand or two? One hand. One finger. One hand, one foot. One. Two. Three. Oh! oh. <laughs> See, I was gonna do those, but... Five. I'm measuring how far off the ground you are. Three. Come on, Kevin. Three. Four. Four. So think about the push-ups, think about the pain that you guys felt, and I'm going to read this story. Anyway. I want you guys to listen, okay? Are you listening, a boy, a boy named Steve was struggling in school. He, he'd been kicked out of several classes, but a kind seminary teacher finally allowed him into a sixth period class. One day, the teacher planned a special lesson. He asked Steve to stay after class so he could talk with them. The teacher asked, how many push-ups can you do? Steve replied, I do about 200 every night. 200, the teacher said. That's pretty good. Do you think you could do 300? Steve answered, I don't know. I've never done 300 at a time. The teacher said, can you do 300 in sets of 10? Well, I think I can, Steve answered. Yeah, I can do it. Good, I need you to do this on Friday. Well, Friday came and Steve went to class early and sat in front. When class started, the teacher pulled out a big box of donuts. Now, these weren't the normal kinds of donuts. They were the big, extra fancy kind with cream centers and frosting swirls. Everyone was excited. It was Friday, the last class of the day, and they were going to get an early start on the weekend. The teacher went to the first girl in the first row and asked, Cynthia, do you want a donut? Cynthia said yes. He then turned to Steve and asked, would you do 10 push-ups so that Cynthia can have, have a donut? Steve said, sure. He jumped down from his desk to do a quick 10 donut on Scott's desk. Now, by this time, Steve had begun to slow down a little. He just stayed on the floor between sets because it took too much effort to be getting up and down. You could see beads of perspiration on his brow. And there were many uneaten donuts on the desk. Steve was also really putting in a lot of effort to get these push-ups done for each, each donut. Sweat was dripping onto the floor beneath his face. His arms and face were red from the effort. The teacher said he couldn't bear to watch all of Steve's work for those uneaten donuts. So he asked Robert to make sure Steve did, did the push-ups. The teacher started down the fourth row. During his class, some students had wandered in and sat along the heaters on the sides of the room. When the teacher realized this, he did a quick count and saw 34 students in the room. He started to worry if Steve would be able to make it. Thank you. 
Sun, sun, sun.